Uh, we'll have to see moving forward. Um, Mjolnir would be a great item to keep up in terms of farm to be able to push multiple lanes at once. And now Night Stalker. Oh, he's going in. The rest of his team is in the wings. They don't have a smoke. They're just kind of strolling in. Aki with the heck. Nice blink in from Pasha, but he's going to get silent stuff. He goes to the call. It's not going to connect with anyone. S4 going to be laying in the damage. The Eclipse comes out from the Luna. They're looking for something here. S4 going to go Yules himself up in the air. Buying some time here as Illidan's BKB will have to wear thin. S4 will be the casualty here. He goes for the deny on the Bloodstone. Is able to get it on the back lines. Broodmother goes in for the kill onto the Shadow Demon. It's just a support. But it's worthwhile here. Now, can she slip away? She will take an unstable concoction. They bring in the Earth Spike, connecting onto two. Can they follow this up? EGM, he's only a Ricky, but Loda, there's the damage. Fighting 1v1 with Illidan. This may be more than Loda can chew. He does have that uh, infest off cooldown, or rather on cooldown, so we can't get away here. He will end up falling. That's a gem there on the ground. Aki goes and picks it up. Now, S4 back in the fight, going in, ripping apart Illidan. They will get the kill on the Luda. Look, looking for BZZ as well. They should be able to find a Humantis himself, but it's not going to save the day. The body blocks are so there. Admiral Bulldog there with a double kill in that fight. It's a five-man wipe. The person has some dust. No gems, they know when the smoke pops. They're nearby and the smoke will pop. Do they follow up here? Bulldog is going to just skirt back. He scouts out what's going on. They bring in, they're turning this fight. Immediate plop. They're looking for something. The disruption comes through. There will be the Eclipse popped up by the Lunas. There's going to be the Yules and the Timbersaw. Once again, Loda, he's fighting. He may, once again, have bitten off more than he can chew. He's getting very, very low. He will fall. But Broodmother's still up, still fighting. Mega kill streak out for S4. They're chasing down Illidan. The short BKB is not going to do enough here. Silence comes out. Going to be taken off there as Illidan is able to walk out. Now Ake manning up here, taking on two heroes. We'll end up paying the ultimate price. Gets called down. Now Bulldog, he's sitting there. He's chunked up. He's silenced up. Can he get back? He will fall. This could be a wipe going the other way. As S4 getting low as well. EGM also starting to fall very, very low and, and will be chased back down. Do they have vision on the Ricky? No. It looks like this will be the disengage. Although they're going for the TP. Can RMN cancel it? He doesn't. Luna just sitting there, Illidan hammering away at this tier 3. It's only up to Aki. They will bring in S4. Going in Timber Chain off the mark, so not able to zip out of there. But for now, going to be completely fine. There will be that defensive disruption onto Illidan to get those illusions coming out. Now there will be that cask coming out, a rather unstable concoction. Aki, going to get four steps away. The dunk off the mark. Admiral Bulldog looking to fight in that BKB form. They get the call here. Pasha, the armor can only do so much. There's going to be the Ags coming out from the Luna. The Eclipse is dropped, and she's hitting hard. They get down the Life Stealer. Loda has to buy back for this, and it looks like it might not be enough as S4. He's still in the front lines of the fight. There will be a disruption cast out once again to get more illusions coming through. The Radiant's doing a lot of work coming out from that uh, Alchemist. And now Loda getting very, very low. He cannot afford to go down here. That will be a dieback. He's raged up. Has to go back to his fountain. Meanwhile, Illidan still feeling completely okay. Has that Aegis. Has another minute left on it. And S4 not able to do a whole lot there if he zips back the chakra now. Maybe he gets the Aegis burned. Can they follow this up? I don't know. Looks like they're going to have to try here. They're bringing the spiders. They're bringing the smoke cloud. EGM coming through. They will get that stun. They do have the finger. They have the hex if they need it. But the nice four staff away will save the Luna's life for now. They're going to go in with that Yule trying to buy time on the Alchemist. He's going to be chemical raged up. They're looking for that slow. They're looking for the kill. But the nighttime out from RMN means they've got more initiation potential. Astro Bulldog caught unawares. He doesn't have the BKB for 10 more seconds. Zip in. S4 going through. They get two very important kills. They're looking for more here. Night Stalker running away. He's going to be trying to heal up. But S4 just a little bit too tanky. They get that slow. Diffusal charge out. Out once again, they will drop the Night Stalker gem on deck. It's going to be four down. F5 overstayed their welcome. Now, Illidan, just look at this tower go. The Fortify is popped out. It looks like the zip pack in S4 doesn't want to give this tower away for free, but he knows he can only zone so effectively. Zipping in and out, casting that Shiva's guard. But in the meantime, Illidan not phased here again. Oh, God. They bring in the Loda Bomb. He's going to drop it down. It looks like he may get a kill on the back of this. Yol is going to fall down, but Illidan gets the kill onto the Lion. Loaded a fall as well. Loaded down. No buyback. This could be it. It's S4 going to get punished up as well. BKB's flying every which way. Bulldog, he's looking to fight, but he's against three. Can he really do this? He's against four now. S4 joins the party once again. Broodmother is able to go through and get a kill onto the axe, but there's so many more targets here. They get down the Night Stalker as well. Now Illidan could be getting kind of low. EGM joins the party once again. He's getting low. He can't afford to go down here. That's going to be a lion dead. Once again, Ricky, lion, life stealer, no buyback. Timbersana running for his life. Going to get sprayed down. Illidan has that eye of Scotty online doing so much work. And now Admiral Bulldog forced to watch his own racks fall. Not a situation you want to be in if you're a lion, but this may be it as Illidan will burn that Aegis. But just coming back with full health full mana and able to take the set of racks here. They know there's no buyback on the life stealer. Now that they're going to be going through, they do pop out that shock room, so BCC might be taking a little bit of damage, but the, with the Octarine, he's healing up quite effectively, and Bulldog has to be very, very careful where he chooses to fight. He's got that insatiable hunger, but he's going to get controlled up. He can't afford to go down here, but he might not have much of a choice here. He's looking for something there, trying to get his most life steal as possible. 
And now on the back lines, they're going to be taking the attention here to S4, who's slow. He pops out that Shiva's guard, walking in, maybe takes out the courier. No, just going to pop that BKB. He has the boots of travels. Can he get to a safe spot, though? That's the question. He blinks all the way back on through. He's looking for the jukes, and it looks like he will end up finding them. Meanwhile, just, you know, casual damage. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think F5 are in a position where they know they're ahead, they know they can push in, they can get something done, but they can't completely YOLO this. They know that Alliance are going to fight to the bitter end. Now, they do have EGM, once again, with that surprise inside. There's going to be a scan here. It will uh, it will not reveal anyone in the vicinity. The smoke coming through. Can they get this around here? As far as smoke pops, he wants something here, but who does he charge in on? Looks like he's going to try to 1v1 the axe, and to some success, now EGM will get revealed here. They bring out Loda immediately. The Ricky is down. They go for the finger here. They want the Night Stalker. They will be able to get him, most likely, but man, that absolute decimation ult coming out from Illidan. He's locked in place now. RMN somehow still alive. Will end up bursting down to the Whirling Death. They will get down the Luna as well. She has buyback. Now Bulldog getting very, very low. He wants to live. He's scampering away. Yo looking for something there. The Battle Hunger may take him down. He's getting super, super low, but will end up living through that. A PZZ gonna get controlled. Can they get the kill here? He's trying to heal up with the Octarine and will end up going down. Suicide there uh, is gonna be to that unstable concoction. So in the end, three down, four F5. They all have buyback though. That's the difference for Alliance. They're all dead forever. And now Yol, he will join the party. They're looking for Axe here. They want to make it five. Looks like Axe will be able to go through and TP back to his base. So in the end, Alliance picking up a 3k gold swing. Uh, XP swing actually goes in favor of F5 on that one. Yeah, that was like S4 just like not backing down, continuing to fight. He has 30 plus stun charges right now. He picked up that Akinim set instead of the Eel set, which I think was the greatest thing he could have done because he needed damage and that like having that secondary track run just proves enough to actually bring down BCC finally because in the last engagement he saw he, he didn't have enough damage to actually kill BCC, but now he definitely does and uh, he can even go for like a late game item. It's not unheard of to go for like a Dagon in the late game because you need to be continuing to just put, output the damage as, as a Timber saw, right? So, uh, something we could be seeing happening. Now Bulldog, he's trying to rat with his uh, his very last breath. The Fortify coming out, there will be a nighttime here. S4, he's manning up. Now on the back wing, they don't have the life stealer. He's still gonna sit there waiting for a, waiting for a courier. He has to get brought in by someone. He's got that incest at the ready. Now, so it's just gonna be these two heroes sitting there. They got back up from the lion, but Ake, he's super, super squishy. They're gonna have to back off. They get the call here. Bulldog may have overstayed as well, and they're looking for more. S4, can he just be a man here? Looking for the kill on the Pasha. They got the hex. He's gonna go in the BKB. BKB on BKB action. Will end up falling there. Does get the uh, Earth Spike there onto the Luna, holding her in place for now. But it looks like this is going to be going to get two kills. Alliance, they're holding this. They're showing that they're very much in control as S4 not backing down under any circumstances. May get punished here as Illidan has 10 second cooldown on that ult. I don't think they pop it just for S4, but it's definitely something that Alliance know they don't want to fight up against. They bring in Loda now. He does have that uh, rage going for himself and is going to smack on the racks. They really don't want to overcommit here. Zip in. S4 may be in some trouble. Is going to get called up. Looks like he will get culled down. Luna getting the kill for that. And now Loda left to his own devices. He can't afford to die here. He's four staffed out. Nice Earth Spike. Buying some time, but Loda may still hit the grave. It looks like he will tick down eventually. Alchemist getting the kill. Finally, a blink away from line will secure that escape for him for now at least. But that's Life Stealer down for the ninth time this game. No buyback on him once again. Unstable Concoction coming out. Another fantastic Earth Spike. But it looks like they might be able to chase him. They're not giving up here. They go in with the Lucent Beam. Another four staff down to the low ground. They're really trying to keep this Lion alive with everything they've got. But they bring S4 back into the party. Gets a really nice Shiva's Guard on everyone. But he can't take up five heroes worth of damage. He's trying to be the ambulance here. He's trying to make the space. But it might just be too much for him. They bring in EGM on the back lines. Trying to do something here. But it looks like he may end up getting shot down. One more hit. Not going to be enough. The Chalkman's coming back to himself. He timber chains to the high ground. Now F5, they're going to be going in. They will get that vision onto EGM again. They have that gem on the Night Stalker. They're looking for more. They've got the blink on Pasha. They will go through. They get the dunk. No. He holds the dunk, and that may end up costing them a kill on EGM. But for now, they go, and they control up the Radiant Base. Look at these Luna Illusions just smacking away with these Moonglades for all they're worth. They're bouncing every which way. And now that's an exposed Ancient. If Alliance are going to do something, they've got to do it quick. And, well, that's not the something you need. Rapid Pings come out to dunk down. Immediate buyback from the Timber Saw. But it looks like the Ancient will be falling. Alliance. They may have to drop in game one here of the regionals. In fact, it looks like that's going to be the case. As S4, he's not big enough to take on everyone. Bulldog, though, he's trying. He's pitching in. Yol goes in with that Ghost Scepter, and it looks like the Ancient slowly but steadily ticking down. Dire Heroes, they're focusing it, forcing back Alliance. Alliance, they are, they are not looking as strong as they once have. Fantastic Five, the open qualifier team, going through and taking game one of the EU uh, regional quals for TI6. What a match. Wow. What do you make of that one?
that was the longest fight I've ever seen. I mean, it just kept on going everywhere. But yeah, I mean, like you said in the end, Timbersaw as far he can't do everything his, on his own. I mean, him and Brood and and Bulldog 